Ever since the update from Android 4.4 to 5.0 on the Samsung Galaxy S5, there's been quite a few issues, and one of the major ones has been battery life. Now what this is caused by is, with the new software, it tells the device to turn off the SD card when it's in sleep. Now when a device is in sleep, every now and then it wakes up again and um, checks for internet connection and notifications and things. Now every time that that happens, applications like the music application, they search the SD card for things like new media files to add to the library. Now doing this every single time the phone wakes up, that requires a huge amount of processing power and it gives off a lot of heat. Now thankfully it's an easy fix. All you have to do is you have to go to the Google Play Store and download this application. It's uh, Wake Lock Power Manager. So if I open this, uh, what it does is it gives you the option to um, keep the device in a partial state of being, well, awake. And so uh, what you're going to want to select is um, partial wake lock here. And um, there's a couple of other things which you need to do to make it um, be a bit less obvious. Uh, first you're going to want to check um, auto start on boot. So that you don't have to redo this every time that you turn on your device. You're going to want to uncheck notification. And of course if you're running a Galaxy S5, which is the uh, GT-i9100, um, you're going to want to select this checkbox, which um, it sorts out issues with the screen during calls. Now, um, in doing this, uh, it keeps the SD card awake all the time, so then it doesn't need to research the SD card for new files. And um, so now I'm getting my full battery life, which I used to back when it was on Android 4.4, but with still all of the benefits of Android 5.0. Now, um, before I did this, it was getting up to about 45 degrees Celsius in my pocket, which is unnaturally hot for a smartphone even when it's in sleep. And uh, even when I wasn't using it much, I'd only get between 8 to 10 hours of battery life. And for a high end flagship smartphone, that's just really not good enough. But um, thanks to this fix here, uh, you can sort out your device and it works well. Uh, if you like this video, um, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.